So for our next topic, we will discuss about built-up beams, cover plates, at saka mga plate girders. So, kapag sinabi natin built-up beams, katulad ng sa timber design, so, from the word itself, built-up, meaning to say, gumagawa tayo ng mga alternative. Let's say, meron kang mga available na material sa site, tapos, urgent na yung construction dapat ng beam mo or column. So, from that materials, kailangan makabuo ka ng mga steel section natin. So, there are different scenarios sa site natin at madidiscuss natin yan through a problem. So, pag sinabing built-up beams, pinagkoconnect-connect natin yung mga plates or pinagkoconnect-connect natin yung mga W-shape, yung mga beam natin na may sections para makapag-adjust tayo dun sa situation sa site. So, for problem number one, a beam built up from the following plates, 450 mm by 20 mm as flange. So, eto mga flange natin yung nasa taas, no? So, we have three plates here. Etong dalawa as a flange and yung nasa gitna naman, that is our web. So, meron daw siyang dimension na 450 mm. So, 450 yung base ng flange natin. And 20 mm naman. So, this is 450 yung base ng flange natin. Tapos, 20 din itong thickness of flange. And 500 mm by 20 mm as web. So, yung web natin dito, so 500 to. Tapos, meron siyang thickness which is equal to 20. So, the thickness of the web is equal to 20 mm. All plates are 836 steel and the flanges are continuously connected to the web by means of a fillet weld. So, siyempre, para maging interconnected dyang tatlong yan, iwa-weld natin sila. So, in this part, iwa-weld natin dyan, dito din. So, sa mga susunod nating topic, madi-discuss din yung, yung weld. So, i-discuss natin kung paano nakaka-apekto yung pag-welding dun sa strength ng beam natin. The beam is simply supported at its end and laterally supported only at supports. Determine the value of the allowable bending stress. So, laterally supported siya, di ba? And also, simply supported yung biga natin. So, siyempre, it is simply supported, so, madali lang yung loading natin. So, first step natin lagi is to determine kung built up section ba yung section natin. So, para madetermine natin yun, let's check. So, eto. This is problem number one. Let's check if H over TW is less than ba siya sa 2, 5, 4, 7 all over square root of Fy. So, siyempre, para malaman natin yung value ng H, so, kunin muna natin yung properties ng built-up section natin. So, properties of built-up section. So, properties nito. So, we have a base of the flange which is equal to 450. Tapos, yung thickness of the flange that is equal to 20 mm. Meron din tayong D. So, yung total depth natin dito, 20 plus 500 plus 20. So, you will have a value of 540 mm. The thickness of the web is equal to 20 mm. So, kunin na, kunin na natin agad yung ratio ng depth over sa area ng flange natin. So, we have a depth of 540. Tapos, yung area ng flange natin, that is 450 multiplied by 20. 
so you will have a ratio of 0 0.06 so yung age natin dito ito yung height ng web natin so in this problem the height of our web is equal to 500 the thickness of our web naman that is equal to 20 so pag ko compare natin siya sa value ng 2547 over square root of since sinabi sa problem na 836 yung gagamitin natin therefore fy is equal to 248 so 248 po ang fy natin So, that will become 25. Tapos, etong kabila, that is equal to 161.73. So, kung i-compare natin sila, less than yung value ng H over TW. So, therefore, our section is a built-up section. Therefore, built-up section. So, ganun lang. So, first, siyempre, i-check mo kung build-up section ba talaga siya. Next naman, siyempre, determine natin yung susunod na property ng ating section. Kunin natin yung moment of inertia. So, madali lang naman yung pagkuha ng moment of inertia natin, kagaya lang naman sa timber. So, para makuha natin yung moment of inertia natin, consider natin na consider natin na buong rectangle to. So, let's say we have a whole rectangle here. So, yung mga tapos, i-minus na lang natin yung mga butas. So, susunod din, i-minus na lang natin yung mga butas. So, minus natin yung mga butas dito. So, ang nangyayari is, eto. Ito yung mga butas natin. So, buong rectangle. Kasi doon natin siyang buong rectangle. Tapos, eto mga butas na to na nakakross. So, cross natin. Ha? Ito yung pagmaminus natin. Ginawa natin yon para hindi na tayo mag-transfer formula pa. Kasi kung magta-transfer formula tayo, karagdagang trabaho na naman yun, so mahihirapan tayo. So in this problem, so mapapansin niyo di ba, yung neutral axis natin, since it is a symmetrical section, parehas lang naman yung thickness ng flange natin, nasa gitna siya. So hindi na tayo mamumoblema sa pagta-transfer natin. So, this is our elastic neutral axis. Since yung centroid, di ba, nasa gitna, hindi na tayo magta-transfer formula. So, kunin lang natin yung value ng I natin. So, consider natin yung buong section natin. So, I is equals to yung buo natin that is equal BH over BH cube over 12. So yung B natin that is 450. Yung H natin that is equal to yung D which is equal to 540. Etong kabuuan na to. So that is 540 cube over 12. Minus meron tayong dalawa dito. So, dalawa. Anuhin na natin. Sharp tap na lang natin. No? Since meron tayong dalawa, i-consider na lang natin yung isa tapos i-times to natin. So, in this example, kunin natin yung value ng base natin dito. So, that is equal to 450 diba? minus 20 divided by 2. Makukuha mo na itong base na to. Which is equal to 215. Tapos, eto naman, that is equal dito sa height ng web natin, which is equal to 500. So, therefore, isa lang yung ko-consider natin 
i-twice na lang natin para makonsider yung kabila. So, we have a base of 215, a height of 500, over 12. Therefore, makukuha na natin yung value ng moment of inertia natin. So, that is equal to 1,425.73 times 10 raised to 6 millimeter raised to the 4th. So, sinabi sa problem natin that our beam is only laterally supported at supports. So, meaning to say, yung length pala ng beam natin dito, the length of our beam here, so meron tayong simply supported beam. Tapos, yung length ng beam natin na yan is equal siya sa 2 meter. So, sinabi na it is only supported at supports. So, meaning to say, our the value of our LB is equal to so, yung beam natin, di ba? The value of our unbraced length is equal to 2 meter or 2,000 millimeter. So, para malaman natin kung compact or non-compact ba yung section natin, kung laterally supported muna pala or laterally unsupported, kailangan muna natin malaman yung value ng L sub C and yung value ng L sub U. So, para makuha natin yung L sub C at saka L sub U, kunin muna natin yung value ng L sub 1 which is equal to 200 BF over square root of Fy. So, meron tayong value which is equal to 200 which is equal to so, meron tayong dito yung BF. Yung BF natin that is equal to 415. Yung F natin that is equal to 248. So, the value of our L sub 1 is equal to Five seven one five point zero one mm. Next, naman is kuni naman natin yung value ng L sub two natin. L sub two is equal to one three seven nine hundred over d over a sub f multiplied by the value of f y. So, in this example, na-compute na natin yung value ng D over EF natin, which is equal to 0.06. So, this is 0.06. The value of our FY is 248. So, we have a value of L2, which is equal to 9, 2, 6, 7, 8, 9, 2, 6, 7, 8, 9. So, para malaman natin yung value ng L sub C natin at saka value ng L sub U, pag-compare lang natin sila. So, yung lesser value, that is equal to L sub C. So, in this problem, L sub C is equal siya sa value ng L sub 1. And L sub 2 naman, that is yung mas mataas na value, yun naman yung L sub U natin. <clears throat> so, eto naman L sub C, eto yung maximum length kung saan yung value ng allowable bending natin is 0.66 FY. Kapag naman L sub, L sub U, ito naman yung maximum unbraced length, kung saan yung value ng allowable bending stress natin is 0.60 FY. So, kung pagko-compare natin ng mga yan, the value of our unbraced length is less than to the value of N sub C. And also, the value of our unbraced then, obviously, di ba, magli-less than yan sa value ng L sub U natin. Therefore, it is laterally supported. Next naman, after determining kung laterally supported ba yan, 
So, i-determine natin kung compact ba or non-compact yung beam natin. Check for compactness. Siyempre, para ma-check natin yan, we have at least meron tayong dalawang kriteria na dapat isatisfy. So, the value of your B o F all over 2 TF that must be less than or equal to the value of 170 over square root of Fy. And dun sa isa pang kriteria natin, BF all over 2 TF that must be less than or equal to 250 over square root of Fy. So, dapat siya yung kriteria na masatisfy natin para masabi natin na compact yung section natin. So, in this example, so, lagay lang natin yung value ng B sub F natin, which is equal to 450. Yung T sub, F, T sub F natin, which is equal to 20. So, dito naman, this is only 248. So, the value of our B, F all over 2 T F, is equal to 11.25 Tapos, eto namang kabila that is equal to 10.8 So, since na greater than siya, di ba? Hindi na siya compact. So, hindi na siya compact, therefore, meron na lang tayong dalawang choice. Either non-compact yan or partially compact. So, test natin dito, no? Kung nag-less than yung value ng VF all over 2TF which is equal to 11.25 therefore partially compact section siya pero kung na greater than naman yung value ng ratio na to therefore that is a non-compact so in this example the value of 250 over square root of FY is equal to 15.88 since na less than yung value ng ratio natin dito sa una Therefore, it is a partially compact section. So, kapag partially compact yung section natin, ito yung formula natin. Fb is equal to Fy. So, multiply lang natin sa value na 0.79 minus 0.000 all over 2 TF square root of Fy over K sub C. So, kapag built up section tayo, always na meron siyang K sub C dito. So, ano ba yung K sub C natin na yan? So, usually ginagamit natin yung K sub C na to as a modification factor since gumawala naman tayo ng built up pins. So, para ma-determine natin yung value ng K sub C, K sub C is equal to 4.05 over H over TW multiplied by 0.46. So, gagamitin natin yung formula na yan if if yung H over TW natin is greater than to 70. Since in this example, at yung H over TW natin is only 25. Since nag less than yan sa value ng 17, therefore, use K sub C which is equal to 1.0. So, gagamitin lang natin yung formula na yun. In computing for K sub C, if and only if yung ratio ng H over TW is na greater than siya sa value na 70. So, therefore, adapt lang natin yung value na 1.0. So, makahanap na natin yung value ng allowable bending stress natin. So, we have a value of 248. So, multiply lang natin sa 0.79 minus 
multiplied by so meron tayong value na BF all over 2T which is equal to 11.25 tapos multiplied by square root of 248 so you have a value of allowable bending stress which is equal to 162.44 mega pascal so that is the value of our allowable bending stress